Hey guys, great to see you again. Uh, so we had a little bit of a query this morning in statistics uh, about how do we find the lower and upper quartile and the interquartile range for some data that's put in a stem and leaf plot like this. And I think what put us wrong was our textbook because it has uh, given us information about how to find lower quartiles and upper quartiles. And the way that uh, you're expected to do this in Cambridge is a little bit different uh, to the way that we have been doing it in class. So most likely what you wrote down I probably would have marked right in your test anyway. Uh, however, it's probably important that we now learn how to do it the way that we'll be expected to do it in Cambridge at the end of the year. So, this is how we're going to do it. So the first step again is to count our items of data. We have 13 from 38 up to 75. And since there are 13 items of data, your first step is you want to find the median. Okay? I know it doesn't say that, but you do want to find the median. So, we go uh, 13 divided by 2, which is 6.5. So we're looking at our seventh item of data. So count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is our median here. Now, this is where uh, we perhaps depart from what we've been used to. Now we find, to find the lower quartile in data, like a stem and leaf plot like this, you want to find the median of the lower half. So now we can ignore this, and we're finding the median of this lower half of data. And you'll note now that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 items of data. So at this point, we want to find between points 3 and 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So halfway between these two is going to be our lower quartile. So at this point, we know that our lower quartile will be 48 plus 52, divide by 2, which is equal to 50. Now, uh, we've done that part. Now we're going to look at our upper part, and you'll see that there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 again, because we're ignoring that median. 6 again, so we're looking between the third and fourth point. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 61 and 62, so our upper quartile will be equal to 61.5 and therefore we can say that our range our interquartile range is going to be equal to this minus this or 11.5 well i hope that makes sense of this i hope that's cleared things up for you